All right, you guys ready to check out my new plane? Yeah, it better be good this time. It is. Okay, it actually works. Anyways, here we are. You guys can look. All right, and uh, are you sure that they can fly? Yes, of course they can fly. You want to take it for a spin with me? I think I'll pass on that. What? Okay, well, you're just missing out. What about you, Ruby? Uh, pass. What? Okay, well, I'll just fly myself. Here we go. Yeah, this thing is super fun. And uh, the way what's going on? Hold on. I think I'm losing control of the plane. Ah, watch out. Ow. Pff, okay, that was horrible. I feel like I can build a way better plane than that. No way. It's hard than it looks, okay? I highly doubt that. I bet I can build a better one, too. And what? You guys really think you can build a better plane than me? Well, uh, I wasn't trying on this one, okay? Uh, here, I could definitely build a better plane, too. All I need to do is just grab some blocks. And all right, guys, get ready for the coolest plane you have ever seen. This is gonna be sick. All right, sure, whatever, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my private jet. Whoa, what? You're building a private jet? That sounds pretty cool. And, ooh, wait, I think I know what type of plane I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build an epic fighter jet. What? A fighter jet? Those sound boring. I'm going to build a plane with lots of games. What? Boring? How does a fighter jet sound boring? It's gonna be awesome. Here, I'm just gonna replace all of these quartz block with some gray concrete. There we go. And here, now let me start building the walls of my plane out. This thing is gonna be awesome. And uh, what the heck? Cam, you're already using commands? Uh, yeah, of course. I'm gonna have the most luxurious private jet in the world. That doesn't look like a jet. That looks like a rocket ship. And yeah, that does not look anything like a plane at all. That's because I'm not finished with it yet. Well, I'm gonna look forward to how that's gonna look. All right, well, here, Cam, you actually gave me a pretty good idea. I should probably start using commands as well. Let me just do slash slash wand so I can grab a magic wand in here. Let me select part of my build really quick. And here, now if I look this way and just run the command slash slash stack, check it out. I can instantly make my plane longer here. I think I should do slash slash stack one more time just to make it a little bit longer. There we go. And okay, now this is looking pretty good here. Let me make it a little bit longer this way as well. Let me just do slash slash stack up 20. There we go. And ooh, okay, now this is looking pretty good. And whoa, wait, Cam, I see what you're doing now. Uh, yeah, I had to turn it on its side. Wait, that thing is massive. It definitely looks more like a plane now, but wait, it kind of just looks like a sideways soda can. Uh, it's because I'm not finished with it, and yours looks like a ruler. What? How does this look like a ruler? Okay, well, hold up. I need to slash slash stack this top part real quick so I can actually have a roof. There we go. That is looking pretty nice. Actually, let me do it a little bit more. And there we go. Now the roof is done. But anyways, the next thing I need to do for my fighter jet is build a little entrance. So I guess I can build that right over here. Let me see. What type of door could I use? And ooh, what about one of these really fancy doors? Hold on. Oh, wait. This door is so big. It's not going to fit. I need to find a smaller door. Let's see. Let's see. What could I use? And ooh, wait, what about this door over here? It's called a bunker door. This looks pretty awesome. And ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is definitely looking nice. All right, well, that's going to be our main entrance. And let's see. What else do I need to build? Oh, I guess the next thing I need to build is the cockpit. This is going to be where the captain does all of the flying and controlling of the plane. So here, we can just have the glass over there. And then I need to grab a captain's seat. And let me just grab one of those and put it down right over here. I also need to grab one of these things, which is pretty much like the control panel for the ship. So we'll just put that down over there. And pretty much what this thing lets us do is turn on the ship and make it so that we can actually fly. Let's go. Although I, I don't think my ship is nearly ready for flying yet. Hold on. Let me park it down here again. And here, let me just turn it off really quick. There we go. And yeah, our plane definitely needs a lot of work before we can take it flying. So here, let's see. What do I need to build next? And oh, wait, the wings. That's the next important part. So here, what I'm going to do is just start the wings over here. And hold on, guys. You know those planes that have like really big, long wings? Uh, yeah. I'm going to build one of those. So my wings are going to go super big. It's going to go from like here all the way to back over here. Yeah, this is gonna look sick. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, my plane's already gonna have the biggest wings here. Whoa, wait. Okay, your plane is actually looking massive, but uh, hey, Cam, I bet my plane could beat your plane in a fight. Uh, no, uh, if we put our planes together, your plane would uh, run away and scared. What? No, wait. Isn't your plane just like a private jet? Private jets just have like, what, fancy chairs and stuff? My plane is gonna have like TNT cannons and turrets. It's gonna be so sick. Oh, yeah, well, my private jet's gonna be so fast it can dodge your turrets. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that. My plane is also gonna be super fast, but anyways, I think this wing over here is just about done. All I gotta do now is just fill it all in with some of this gray concrete. So here, let me just select all of these positions. And here, I'll just use some commands to fill it all in. There we go. This is looking awesome. And wait, Ruby, what type of plane are you going for? So far, it kind of just looks like a pink box. I'm building a party plane, duh. A party plane? What? I'm gonna put the funnest activities on my plane, and you're gonna be so bored, you're gonna wanna come over and party with me. Wait, fun activities? Like what? Um, I don't know, like, uh, go-karts and tag and stuff? I don't know yet. What? You're putting go-karts on your plane? The passengers are gonna get bored. Of course I have to. That sounds, uh, interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure if, uh, having go-karts on a plane is the best idea, but anyways, I have my first wing done, and now all I gotta do is just copy this wing over to the other side. So, here, what 
I could do is just select this position right over here in this corner. And then let me also select this position over here. And then let me just run the command slash slash copy and slash slash flip. And here now, if I go on the other side and just run the command slash slash paste, boom, there we go. My wing has been instantly pasted in. Let's go. These wings are looking sick, but now I got to build that thingy in the back. And whoa, wait, Cam, your thingy in the back is looking pretty sick. I might have to just copy that. Right, no, stay away. What's that thingy in the back even called? Uh, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it just like allows the plane to steer itself. Yeah, it's definitely important. I'm going to call it the uh, steering wing. Yeah, I'm just going to call it the tail of the plane. Oh, yeah, that's probably the best word for it. But there we go. The tail of my plane is now done. But now that I've got all of like the main plane parts done, I think it's about time. I start building some actual weapons. So let's see. What's the first weapon that a fighter jet is going to need? And oh, wait a minute. What about a TNT cannon? That could be sick. But hmm, where should I actually build the TNT cannon? There isn't a lot of room on this plane. It's not as big as Cam's private jet over there. Oh, wait, actually, what if I build it underneath the plane? That could work. Here, let me just build a quick basic TNT cannon over here. I'm going to need to have some water on this side like that. And then let me also grab some slabs and just put down a slab right over here. That's looking pretty nice. Next thing I'm going to need are some dispensers. And what I got to do with those is just put them down all over here on the side like this. There we go. That is looking good. And now all I got to do is put down one more dispenser right over here. And then, of course, let me fill everything up with some TNT. And OK, I think that should be most of the TNT cannon done. All we gotta do now is put down all of the redstone. So let me just grab some redstone, some repeaters, and a lever really quick. And here, the first thing we gotta do is put down some redstone above all of the dispensers. So I think all over there should be good. Yep, this is above all the dispensers. And then let's also put down one piece of redstone right over here to power that dispenser. And then let's just put down some repeaters over here like this, and then connect everything up to this lever right over here. And now whenever I flick this lever, it should activate the TNT cannon here. Let's give it a try. Let me just flick the lever and here we go. Okay, okay, this looks pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't blow up my plane and oh my gosh, that worked so perfectly. Hey guys, how's your planes coming along? I'm currently building a TNT cannon on mine. It is looking crazy. What? No way it actually works. What? Of course it works here. Uh, you want to see? Let me just flick this lever over here and let's go. Check it out. This TNT is about to get launched. Let's go. Yes. Whoa, that was crazy. Uh, just stay away from my plane with that. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, did you build your plane out of gold? Uh, yeah, of course I did. What the heck? Okay, that looks pretty interesting, but hold up. Now what I need to do is just move this TNT cannon into the center of my plane so that it looks a lot more even. So here, I'm just going to run the command slash slash move. There we go. And oh, wait, why did it activate again? Hold up. Wait, I also have to move this dispenser over here. And wait, I should probably turn off the lever before I move it. So let me put it down there. And okay, nice. And here, now let me just adjust all the redstone. I'll move the lever to activate it right over here. And okay, this should work. Let's try it out one more time. And okay, yeah, it looks like uh, everything works. Perfect. Anyways, here, now let's just cover everything up and all right what's the next thing that i need on my fighter jet well i'm planning on building a pool on the roof what Ruby, you're building a pool on your plane's roof that is a horrible idea but the view is gonna be awesome yeah but won't that be dangerous though yeah do you not realize that planes are supposed to be flying in the air like super fast all your pool water is probably gonna spill out haven't you ever wanted to go pool diving and skydiving in the same place the what no that sounds horrible you guys are babies i uh, know i just like living yeah i do not want to fall out of a pool and then start falling to the ground. But hmm, what else do I need to build on my fighter jet? Ooh, I guess what I could build are some automatic turrets that just shoot any targets that are nearby. So here, let's just grab some of these turret items. And we also have to grab one of these creative energy cubes so that we can power it. And now, hmm, where should we put the turrets on our plane? Let's see. Oh, I guess we should probably put some in the front over here. We could have uh, one right over here like this. We got to make sure to have one of these energy cubes next to it so that it's always powered. And here, let's also put down another one over here on this side. And now what we have to do is actually like customize the turret. So let's see, what type of weapon should we put on them? Ooh, wait a minute. What if we put a rocket launcher on our turret? That could be awesome. Here, let me grab one real quick and just shove it inside of this turret. And whoa, okay, that looks pretty crazy. Here, let's also put a little bit of ammo inside of this turret just like that. There we go. And let's repeat the same on the turret on this side. Nice, that is looking pretty awesome. And here, now let's spawn in a zombie so that we can test it out and see if it actually works. So I, I guess I'll just spawn one in right over here. And wait, uh, the turret is aiming at it. Is it gonna do anything? Hey, yo, turret. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that worked perfectly. It just one-shotted that zombie. Hold on, hold on, wait. We need to test out how it's gonna do against like multiple zombies. Let's try spawning in a bunch. And all right, here we go. Let's see, is our plane gonna be able to defend it? Okay, yeah, it looks like our plane is definitely able to defend against zombies. That is actually OP. But anyways, we should also add some turrets over here in the back, just in case there's any, uh, you know, enemies out here in the back. So let's just put down another one of these energy cubes and some more turrets. Except let's do something different for the turrets back over here. Instead of a rocket launcher, let's see. And wait a minute. Hold up. What about this laser blaster over here? Wait, let me test it out. And okay, that looks very OP. Let's just yeet that inside of both of our turrets over here. And here, now I guess let's go ahead and test this out. I'm just going to spawn in a zombie right over here. And whoa, that is actually awesome. It can two shot the zombies. Okay, it doesn't do as much damage as our rocket launcher turrets over here, but the laser turrets are a lot faster. So they're definitely good to have in the back. But anyways, my fighter jet now has a TNT kit and it's got the turrets, but hmm, what else do we need to build? And oh, wait, I have an idea. We're going to need to have some sort of way to escape just in case the plane gets damaged or, you know, anything's going wrong. I need some sort of safe escape route. So here's what I was thinking. Why don't we build a little room over here in the back of the plane? So here, let me just grab a dispenser real quick. And what we could do is have a dispenser on each side of the room, just like this. And then on the inside of the dispensers, let's just go ahead and fill them up with a bunch of elytras. There we go. And then finally, let's also grab some fences and pressure plates. And we could just put those right in front of the dispensers, just like this. And now look, pretty much whenever you walk over the pressure plate, it'll automatically put an elytra on for you. But hmm, we're still gonna need a quick and safe way to get out of the plane because what if the door gets like broken and isn't opening or something? So here, why don't we literally just make a big hole over here in the back of the plane and we can have it like open and close with sticky pistons. This could work. Let's just put down all of our sticky pistons over here like that. And then let me also grab some redstone. And there we go. Check it out. We've got like an opening and closing door. Although the way, hold on. Whenever we go to close it, it is just gonna activate the dispensers. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of these dispensers back here. You know, uh, two dispensers is fine, but anyways, there we go. We've got the opening and closing door. This is awesome. Wait a minute. Hold on. Building this little player dropper hole thingy gives me a pretty good idea. What if we build a TNT dropper? Pretty much what we could do is just have some dispensers underneath our plane like that and have them filled up with TNT so that we could just drop TNT on whatever we're flying over. And wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I think I know a perfect spot where we could build these. Why don't we build them on the wings of the plane? That could be awesome. Here, I guess let's just go underneath the wing and start putting down a bunch of dispensers like this. Let's just have them be uh, spaced out by one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Yeah, there we go. This should be the last one. And okay, nice. We have a bunch of droppers over here on this side of the wing. And now the only thing we need to do is find a way to power all of them. Hmm, how are we going to do that? And wait a minute, hold on. What if we try using some observers? These could work. I think that should work. So here, let me just make a little area over here where we could put all of our observers. There we go. We can just have a line of observers going into the wing just like this. And then whenever there's a dispenser, we could just put down another observer to connect it to the main observer line. And oh no, I forgot there was TNT in there. Oh gosh. And okay, uh, uh, let's just quickly repair the wing. What was that noise? Dash, did you blow up your plane? Uh, uh, what? No, no, I, I didn't blow up my plane. What are you guys talking about? You've been doing a lot of stuff with explosives. Well, uh, don't worry about it. I, I did it on purpose. That was definitely uh, on purpose. I was just testing stuff, you know? Yeah, sure. On purpose. Well, uh, try not to blow up my plane. What? Okay, whatever. Hold on. I think I know what I need to do. Before I start connecting all of the TNT droppers, I'm just going to go inside of my plane really quick and I'm just going to fly it a little bit into the air. That way I'm not so close to the ground when I'm testing everything and uh, hopefully we don't have any more accidents like that. So here, let me just hop into the captain's chair really quick and let me just turn on the ship and all right, let's see. Is everything going to work? And whoa, we are taking off. Okay, it looks like everything is still working. Let's go. Here, let me just fly my plane a little bit higher up over here. And okay, I think this should be good. Let me turn it off. And okay, now that we're way up in the air, we can finish up building this TNT dropper thing over here. So let's just finish connecting all of these dispensers to the observers just like that. There we go. And here, now let's just go inside of the plane really quick and let's just put a lever over here next to this observer. And now whenever we flick the lever, all of the TNT should start going off here. Let's check it out and whoa okay this looks crazy uh, what in the world am i hearing right now oh, oh nothing don't worry about it it definitely wasn't my uh epic tnt dropper thingy on my plane Dash, if you're blowing up my plane right now i'm gonna get my revenge what kim i'm not blowing up your plane i'm just testing but here let me just select this entire wing with my magic wand real quick there we go and here let me just go ahead and slash slash copy it again and then of course here i'm just gonna go on the other side and slash slash paste it in there we go and check it out now we've got a tnt dropper on this side of the plane as well and Oh, wait, it looks like it's already going off. All 
right, well, anyways, now I've got the TNT droppers, but hmm, what else is a fighter jet gonna need? And <gasps> wait a minute, I think I have a really good idea for what we could build. What if we build a missile launcher system? That could actually be sick. Okay, okay, so here, I guess what we should do is build another room for it. Let's just build another room over here, similar to what we did for the uh, escape room back here. Except this room over here is gonna be where we're gonna put down our, our missile launching stuff. It's gonna be pretty crazy here. Let me just grab one of these launcher pads and we just put that down in the middle. And then let's see, what type of missile could we use? We could use one of these normal missiles over here, but I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of boring. So what about instead we use this red matter missile? This thing looks pretty crazy. But hmm, right now, if we uh, activate the missile, it's kind of just gonna blow up inside of the plane. We need to have a little opening over here that we can open and close whenever we want to fire the missile. So um, how are we gonna do this? Oh, I guess what we could do is use some trap doors. We can just have some trap doors over here on the roof like this. There we go. And most of the time, the trap doors can be closed. But when we want to fire the missile, we can just go ahead and open up all of the trap doors. Yeah, this works. And here, now we got to put down all the other stuff for the missile launcher. So we can have the radar station right over there. We can have the uh, launcher connector and, and some uh, launcher screens right over here. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty nice. And all right, I think the missile launcher room is complete. But anyways, hmm, we still have quite a bit of empty space inside of the plane right now. What else do I need to build inside of a fighter jet? Why don't you just make another fighter jet? Wait a minute. Hold on. That actually gives me an idea. What if I put another plane inside of my plane? Well, I, I was joking. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hear me out. This could work. You're not actually doing that, are you? What? Of course I am. It could actually be a good idea that works. Here, let me just go inside of my plane really quick and hold up. I'm pretty sure there's like a small type of plane that we can grab and just place down. And yep, this one over here. Let me just grab it and place it down right over here like that and check it out. Yeah, it's pretty much just like a small, simple plane. What's the point of having a plane in a plane? Uh, well, Ruby, it's like a backup plane, you know, just in case the main plane, uh, you know, takes some damage. Uh, we're gonna need a backup plane. That's kind of weird. Ruby, you know what's weird? Having go-karts in your plane, that's weird. My go-karts are perfectly fine. Okay, okay, well, so is my plane, but hold up. I'm gonna need to have a way for this backup emergency plane to, you know, actually get out of the main plane to go fly on its own. So, hmm, how could we do this? Ooh, wait, actually, what we could do is grab some of these ghost blocks and let's just replace a little bit of the ceiling over here with some ghost blocks. Pretty much what these ghost blocks are is they look like normal blocks, but you can actually go through them. So here, let's just replace a bunch of the ceiling over here with a bunch of these ghost blocks. And here, now let me try flying the smaller plane through the main plane through the ghost blocks. Let's see, is this gonna work? Come on, let's go. Uh, this is kind of hard to fly, but wait, I made it out. Let's go. Okay, well, um, I'd say that's a success, but hold on. Can I land this smaller plane inside of the main plane? Wait, it's gonna be kind of hard. I have to go through the ghost blocks. Let me just try this out. Come on, here we go. Yes, let's go. Oh, wait, hold on. I was close. Let me try again. Gosh, what in the world are you doing over there? Uh, I'm trying to land my smaller plane inside of my bigger plane. It's, it's, uh, don't worry about this. <laughs> what in the world? You look so silly. Hey, I did it. That actually worked so well. Now I just got to rotate the plane so that it's facing that way again. Let me just pick it up really quick and just uh, put it down like that. The, oh, that did not put it down correctly. Oh, there we go. That worked. All right. Well, anyways, hmm, what else do I need to build in my plane? My plane is looking pretty solid so far, but I feel like it's missing something. And, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I don't have any of like the normal plane stuff. I don't have any seats in my plane. <laughs> Wait, how do you not have any seats in your plane? Uh, I'm, I'm putting them right now, okay? I, I kind of forgot them. Uh, let me just put some down over there like that. I mean, to be fair, I don't have any either. The fun never ends over here, so no one gets to sit down. And yeah, yeah, but I, I think seats are kind of going to be important though, right? Like, like you know, what if there's like turbulence going on and the plane is getting like really shaky? Turbulence, schmurbulence. They're going to shake around like a maraca. Oh, fair enough, I guess. But hmm, what other important plane stuff am I missing? Oh, wait, I'm going to need to have some sort of like food room to actually feed everyone on board. Oh, that's true. I already have one of those. But, hmm, I don't really have enough room to build an entirely new room inside of my plane. So, what about I just grab some barrels? And here, we can just put down the barrels right over here like that. And, yeah, this is where all the food can be here. Let me grab a bunch of food to put inside of them. We're gonna have some steaks, some carrots, uh, some golden carrots. Oh, let's also make sure to have some water bottles in case anyone gets thirsty. Let's have some pork chops, a little bit of cooked salmon, some apples. And we can just fill up the last one with bread. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty good. But anyways, just like that, I'm pretty sure my fighter jet is not now complete. Yeah, I'm done as well. No way, I'm done too. And wait, okay, now that we're all done, we gotta take some tours of each other's planes and whoa, uh, Ruby, your plane is very interesting. Why do you have four stacks 
of wings. Well, four times the wings means it flies four times as well, so let's go. Uh, okay, if you say so, but all right, let's check out. What do you have on the inside? Of, oh, the, you really have go-karts. So this is my go-kart room. Well, it, it, this is it? I, well, you don't have like a racetrack or anything? It's just a room? I mean, the entire room is a racetrack. Just go along the walls, right? Wait, you could have like at least put down some like blocks on the floor to show that it's like a racetrack. Are you insulting my taste? I think pink is the best color. What? No, I didn't say anything about the color pink. I just said maybe you could like put down like a track on the floor, but uh, this this works, I guess. Wait, guys, first one behind the stairs wins. Oh, dash one already. Ruby, uh, these go kart engines are releasing a lot of smoke. Are you sure this is good for you know the passengers? What? Doesn't it taste good to you? No, it does not taste good. It's horrible for you. What? Listen. Uh, gasoline. What? Uh, okay, well, let's just move on to the next floor. Okay, well, up here we have my arcade. Whoa, you have an arcade? Okay, okay, now this is pretty cool, but wait, Ruby, hold on. Why do you have the arcade right next to the captain's room? Well, I mean, what if the captain gets bored and they don't want to drive anymore? Why is there a hole in the captain's room? Wait, what hole? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, um, you didn't see that. But wait, Ruby, isn't the captain going to get distracted if there's going to be a bunch of kids in here being loud playing arcade games? No, Cap the captain will love kids. It's fine. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, I'm popping off at Tetris right now. What? No, you're not. Move. Let me play. Let me play. There's other machines. Go use those. No, I want to play on this one. Uh, Ruby, you just made a hole in your plane. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, let's go to the next room. Yeah, let's check out what the next room is. And whoa, wait, you just have an entire area made out of glass over here? That looks pretty cool. And oh, wait, is this the food area? Yeah. But wait, what the heck is this over here? Cooked Ica meat? That looks interesting. Yeah, I wanted to put in the most exotic and fancy food here so they could see the sky and eat at the same time. I got a Peaks kebab. Wait, are these cupcakes over here? I don't think eating meat with cupcakes sounds pretty good. What? Both good choices. They're both good choices. Here, have our famous stew. Your famous stew? Uh, this is called suspicious stew. It looks very suspicious, I will say. Okay, well, uh, how good does this thing taste? And uh, I don't feel good at all. Oh, <laughs> no. I think he just got food poisoning. Uh, Cam, it doesn't even have spice in it. I'm literally dying. Uh, okay, I think you need some milk. Let me grab a little bit of milk. for. There you go. I think I just need a little pat on the back. God, Dash, give me a little pat on the back. You want a pat on the back? Okay. And oh, no! I don't think that was a good idea to give him a pat on the back. Um, I think he'll be fine. All right. Well, uh, anyways, what's the next part of your plane? Well, the next part is outside, actually. You have an outdoor area on a plane. Ruby, you realize the planes are supposed to be going like super fast in the air. People are just going to get blown off. Yeah, they're just going to fly off of here. You guys want to play Spleef? Spleef on a plane? That sounds like a horrible idea. Wait, Ruby, where are people going to go when they fall? They're just going to fall. I know. Isn't it great? No, that sounds very dangerous. Do we at least get parachutes? No, but I pay for your funeral. What? Uh, okay, well, I, I, I don't think I really want to play this uh, game of Spleef. I think I'm, I'm going to have to pass on this one. Look, guys, the plane isn't even moving. Come on. Ruby's the winner. I, anyway, I was the next place of this tour. Wait, I won? That's awesome. Okay, let's go to the roof. All right, let's check out the roof. And oh, no. Wait, you can go outside on the roof? Yeah, look, it's a pool with jets. What the heck? Okay, Ruby, I think you got the idea of a plane wrong. All the stuff is supposed to be on the inside because, uh, you know, when the plane is actually moving, this stuff is just going to get blown away. What? No way. It's made out of iron. It's not going to blow away. Yeah, but we are. And plus, why is there bows and arrows over here? Oh, that's another game. And wait, what, what, what game is the bows and arrows for? Basically, you take a bow and an arrow and then you try to knock each other off of the plane. What? What? No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Get me off this plane. What? You've never played Boopy Doop before. I'm going to boop you off the plane. Get over here, Cam. No, I'm all right. I, I, you win. You win, you win, you win. Oh, you guys are boring. I thought I put so much fun stuff, and you guys didn't even want to play any of it. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems fun. It also seems uh, very dangerous. Well, wait, you guys haven't even seen it fly yet. Everyone meet me in the cabin seat. Oh, wait, this thing flies? Of course it flies. It's a plane. Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? You mean, oh, yes? Wait, wait, wait. Cam, 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 come back here. Hold on. I'm just going to grab something real quick. Uh, You might want to take one of these. Oh, no, I've got a better one. I, I, I'm just going to grab one of these, put these on. What, is that a jetpack? Of course it is. The heck? Okay. Okay, well, uh, Ruby, I think we're ready to fly. All right, guys, I'm about to turn it on. And whoa, wait, are we moving right now? Oh my gosh, it's actually crazy that this thing actually works. And uh, wait, Ruby, I think whoa. you might want to be careful. I, I don't think Cam is whoa. having a very good time. What do you mean, be careful? I'm uh, Cam is literally just drifting around the entire plane. What the heck? Something's happening. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ruby, chill, chill, chill. I don't think you're the best pilot. What do you mean? 
and I got my license yesterday. Okay, get in the seat and control. Land the plane. Okay, uh, I don't know how. The, okay, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll take control. Let me land the plane. We're going down over here. We're just going to land in this big pit over here. Oh, that looks super safe. You're right. Here we go. Here we go. We just have to land. And let me just turn off the ship really quick. And there we go. Uh, I, I think we made a good landing. <laughs> I'm throwing up right. Cam, did you just throw up on my plane? Uh, no, I'm outside. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well, that was an interesting experience. But, uh, Cam, give me go check out your plane now. I think I've had enough of uh, the, the party plane. Yeah, please. Let's go look at something better. That was awesome. I don't think you're qualified to fly a plane. Well, well then I'm... Well, uh, what? All right. Well, anyways, Cam, I guess I'll check out yours now. And whoa, wait. Okay, yours is made out of solid gold. Uh, actually, this thing might be too heavy to fly. Are you sure it works? Oh, yes. I'm very sure. And this is the $1 trillion private jet. Can I fly it? I, no. Yeah, Ruby. I don't think you're ever going to fly a plane again after that. But I guess let's check out the inside. Whoa, this looks pretty cool so far. Yep, here we have the main, like, uh, you know, like, chill out quarters with you and your friends could sit here and do work and have a uh, little private meetings. This is nice. This looks pretty cool. And whoa, wait, is this the cockpit? Yeah, it is. We have the chair right here and we have retractable landing gear. Wait, you have landing gear? Does it actually work? Yeah, if you want to flick that lever, you could follow me down here. All right, all right. And you can see we have an automated machine that uh, has a landing gear. Whoa, wait, that's actually awesome. I didn't even think about building landing gear. Wait, can you flick the lever? I want to see what it does over here. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, it moves the landing gear. Whoa, that is pretty awesome. All right, well, here, let's go back inside of the plane now. And all right, what else do you have? This thing is pretty ginormous. Yeah, we still have a lot more of the tour left. Let me just patch up this hole. Vroom, vroom. Ruby, no vroom, vroom. Uh, yeah, Ruby, uh, get out of the captain's chair. Aww. Okay, what's next? And here is the business meeting room uh, where we talk a lot of business. Whoa, there's a pretty nice meeting room, but it's, it's kind of cramped in here. I'm not going to lie. It, you said this was a trillion dollars, right? For a trillion dollars, I would have liked something a little bit nicer. Yeah, for a trillion dollars? Why are there just wooden stairs for chairs? Oh, no. These are the most expensive chairs and wood in the entire world. It comes straight from uh, the uh, the mountains of Mountainville. What? I, I don't think that's a real place, but wait, what's inside of this room over here? What? Escape? Oh, no, this is Escape. We could uh, leave here if, if things get hairy. Oh, wait. Is this your escape route? Hold on. Wait. What do these things over here do? <gasps> Whoa, wait. They give you gold armor and a jetpack? Oh, man. Mine only gives you an elytra. Oh, that looks cool. And then you have a door over here to escape. That's actually pretty awesome. Yep, it's all complimentary. And if you guys want to follow me, there's still more to the tour. This is my pool room right here. Whoa, wait. You have a pool on your plane as well? Okay. Well, at least it's on the inside. What do you mean? At least it's on the inside. That's boring. There's no view. You don't need a view when you're in the pool because you're just chilling out with your friends. Yeah, I guess so. At least you're not going to fall off the side of the plane when you're doing your swims. I guess so, but I don't know. Yeah, well, over here we have the bathroom. Uh, it's kind of, you know, uh, just uh, a normal bathroom. Yeah, a pretty nice bathroom. Why is the toilet paper gold? Uh, what the heck? A trillion dollar private jet. What else do you expect? I've never used gold in toilet paper before. Yeah, that sounds kind of awkward, but uh, what are these two rooms over here? Whoa. Oh, you have a kitchen at... Wait, kitchen too? Uh, yeah, we have two kitchens uh, and the private chefs are not here right now, but uh, they cook us meals, uh, four meals a day. Wait, I'm hungry. What, is there anything for me to eat? Wait, what? The, the chests are all empty. No, the private chefs bring their own stuff and they cook it for us. What? I'm so hungry. But wait, what's inside a kitchen too? Hold on. I want to check out this area and oh, it's just more furnaces. Yeah, but guys, there's still one room left and it is the best room on the entire plane. Whoa, wait, you built your own room? Hold on. I want to check out what's inside of here and... Whoa, wait, this area is huge. Yeah, Check it out. And I have my giant Alaskan king size bed back here. Whoa, this is awesome. What the heck? Why do you need such a big room? Because uh, I wanted it. Wait, do you have games on your computer? No, no games. I only use it for reading and uh, buying business. What? That's so boring. Whoa, wait, Ruby is spinning around. Okay, well, hold on. Now it's time for the real question. Does this plane actually fly? Since it's all made out of gold, it must be super heavy. So uh, I guess we have to find out. Oh, yeah, this will definitely work. Let me just sit in my seat real quick. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Here we go, here we go, moment of truth, and whoa, wait, we're flying, and oh, wait, I think there's a lot of turbulence going on. It's fine, that was just during takeoff, we're good now. Hey, yo, dude, watch your jet, don't, don't hit my plane. I am watching it. Wait, bumper plane sounds like such a fun game. No, 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 we're not playing bumper planes. Hey, yo, Kim, be careful. I'm being careful, bruh. My plane has a lot of explosives on it, and you realize if you hit that thing, it is not going to be gutted. Oh, wait, I think that was your pool. I think your pool water just leaked. That was the only 
good thing on here. But as you can see, the plane does fly. Yeah, surprisingly. But hold up. Can you land now? I, I want to go show you guys my plane. My plane is probably the best one here. Oh, I'll activate the landing gear. Yep, there we go. Uh, we can just stop it midair. It's fine. Uh, and now let's go check out the worst one. What? Dude, it's not gonna be the worst one here. Everyone just follow me over here to my uh, big fighter jet. I don't even know what to call it. I'm gonna call it uh, the Big Bertha 9000. Big Bertha? That's an interesting name, but uh, where's the entrance? Okay, well, glad you asked. The entrance is right over here. Everyone just follow me in through these main doors and uh, just watch out for this uh, plane over here. Just uh, just ignore that for now. You don't need to worry about it. What in the, why do you need another plane inside your plane? The, wasn't this your idea, Cam? You're the one who told me to do this. And oh, wait, 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 get out of that plane. I don't trust you to fly any plane right now. What? Why? After that experience inside of your pink plane, I, I, I think I'll pass. But anyways, guys, uh, inside of this plane, we've got a lot of cool weapons. Uh, as you guys can see, we got some turrets over here, although I think they're deactivated right now. We've got a TNT cannon right over here if any of you guys want to try flicking this lever. Ooh, I want to flick it. I want to do it. Go for it. Go for it. Here we go. Check it out. The TNT is right over there. And in a moment, it should fire off and explode. It's pretty awesome. Whoa. That's pretty cool, but uh, what else do you got? Oh, I've got a lot of stuff. So as you can see, we've got like the seating right over here with the food, but we've also got some more weapons. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw these levers over here. Uh, why don't you try uh, flicking it and just follow me outside? Uh, just flick, yeah, flick this one and then check it out. This is the TNT dropper. Oh, wait, Ruby, I didn't know your plane was there. Gosh. Why'd you park your plane under mine? You're the one that parked my plane. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I was the one who landed your plate. Well, uh, uh, unlucky, I guess. But I guess that was a good demonstration that uh, my TNT dropper defenses work in case there's any enemies below me. I guess it does work. Don't worry, Ruby. I'll just buy you another plane. <laughs> Really? Can I fly it? Uh, I'll buy you a pilot. But uh, anyway, Dash, what's the next part of your plane? Uh, okay, well, anyways, the next part of my plane, I guess everyone just hop inside and follow me. Right over here is our missile launcher system, you know, just in case we've got uh, some really big enemies that we need to take care of. Whoa, these are shiny buttons. And, uh, don't click any of them. What in the world are you planning for? Dude, you never know when the Ender Dragon is going to pull up on your plane and try to, like, take it out. Ender Dragon? We're in the overworld. Yeah, the Ender Dragon lives in the end. Well, what if I want to fly my plane in the end, huh? Uh, fair Fair enough, but uh, what's this over here? Oh, glad you asked. This over here is my escape route. What you have to do is uh, just hop inside of one of these dispensers and it'll automatically put an elytra on you. And then what you need to do is stand on top of these blocks over here and whenever you're ready, you can drop yourself out of the plane. Let's go! Whoa, this is fun! I mean, that's all right, but it's not as good as my uh, my jetpack escape. Yeah, 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 whatever. You know, jetpacks, elytra, same thing. But anyways, now do you guys want to see it actually fly? Because uh, I haven't tested it in a while. Yeah, I want to see it. All right, all right. Well, here, everyone get ready. I'm about to turn on the ship. Let me just hop into my seat really quick and enable the ship. And let's go, guys. We are now flying. Yes. Whoa, I need to buckle down. Yep, everyone take your seats. How's it going back there? Wow. This is cool. This is your captain speaking. Today, we are approaching a golden plane. And we are about to test out our TNT cannons. Let me just flick hey, this hey, lever hey, right hey, over what are you here. Doing? Stop. Let's go. And, uh, I'm sorry, I already flicked the lever. Wait, did the TNT fall out? Oh, no. That's what you get. Well, it's fine here. I can put down another captain seat. We're gonna fly on top of the, the golden jet now. Hey, and no, here, stop, 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 stop. And here, now let's go ahead and flick these levers. Let's go. Your plane is about to go down. No, 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 no. Here we go. And oh, no. Wait, I didn't know our plane was that low. Wait, it just blew up your plane. My plane came away on skates. See you later, losers. Oh, yeah. Well, good thing my plane can still fly with one wing. Here, you're going down, Kim. Let me just pull up on top of your plane. And wait, Ruby, are you in the back of my plane? Uh, hit the lever. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. We just have to blow up a little bit. Come on. And yes. Oh, that's it. It's war. Oh, yeah. Well, your private jet is going down compared to my fighter jet. Hey, Ruby, keep spinning the lever. Okay. Oh, you want to go? Come here, Kim. Wait, Ruby, keep hitting the lever. Let's go. I just got to get on top of him like this. And okay, we're in position. Go, go, go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, no, no, our TNT keeps missing. And oh, wait, hold on. We just got some good hits in. Let's go. Uh, you just hit my engine. I can't move anymore. Well, wait, hold on, Ruby. This is a good idea. You see that missile in the back? Uh, remember those buttons you were looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to go ahead and hit them? Yes, I want to hit them. Okay, I just hit it. <gasps> Whoa, wait. I just saw the missile go up. Wait, what is that? A dash? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it, Cam. And uh, Ruby, I think we should probably fly away a little bit. Did, did the missile just hit my plane? What in the world? There's a black hole. Wait, hold on. Did it work? Wait, what's that sound? What's going on over here? Wait, let's get a bit closer. I want to see. Ruby, I think we definitely hit his plane. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Maybe we should run away. Yeah, I think that missile generated a black hole. Uh, let's get out of here. See you, Cam. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now. Oh, that's where that plane went.